This video is sponsored by Value Testers, best tool company on the web specializing in high-end HVAC heating electrical testing equipment. They have whatever you might need. Sign up for special discounts and pricing. Link in description below. September 10th, 2019. This one here, I gotta go hook up a uh, conversion burner, gas conversion burner. Um, this house here has got two oil tanks and uh, got a gas line in there and pretty much out of oil, pretty close to being out of oil. And uh, I had a used conversion burner, and we're gonna hook that up for them. So I wanna kinda prep it, get it all set, ready to go, and I want to use up all the oil out of the tanks before I, you know, convert it over completely, but that's, uh, this, what, this bloody clown, give me a chance to pass him, I guess. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over there and uh, put that conversion burner in and this right here, when they run out of oil, it's just a matter of going over there and swapping them out. The, the gas pipe will already be done, already already hooked up, ready to go. It's just a matter of one connection and a couple of bolts, and boom, be done with it. gas pipe and the, the burner all set ready to go so when we run out of oil let's just a matter of a gas pipe will be all ready to go they got two tanks down there it's all off all right so there's the that burner's coming out I'm just going to disconnect the drop on the floor for now, put this one in, set this one where I want it. And there's, a, there's a T here for the gas pipe, so I want to do this gas piping. So when she runs out of oil, just a matter of hooking it up. I don't have to worry about threading pipe or anything. I did take this cap off, and there's quite a bit of oil in the bottom of that tank, so I want to use up. They should be pretty low, use up both tanks. So we don't have to worry about getting rid of the oil after I use it. Well, that's what we're going to do. This storage tank has got to be replaced, it's leaking. tightening that up. Maybe that's where the water's coming from. <laughs> I'll get this thing out of here and get that one set, get the gas pipe done for now. Black, white, and green. There's the green. And the black and the white.
I'll just put it back a couple of wire nuts will be good to go. I'm just prepping this thing, get it ready to go. Like I said, I got a little time today so I could do this gas piping. This is a national natural gas unit because I took it out of a job. It was only in for a couple of years, so. Like I said right now I'm just getting the gas pipe and everything trapped ready to go. Next we're gonna do is this gas pipe going up, tie it in. I'll leave this here for now and it's gonna go back in because we wanna use up that oil. Alright, so I got a union there and then I shut off and I gotta put a I gotta cut a riser piece and then go over. I wanna be nine off the ceiling with the thread, right? Nine. Nine and sixty-three. Nine and sixty-three is the piece I want. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, so we got a piece there at nine. And I'll just have to mark sixty-three and we'll thread both ends. I'm just using up some of the pipe I had in my garage. The 60 trees right here, right? I'm gonna cut that and we'll thread it. I got my cord coming out of the house. I got this this box adapter that I made. So I could plug power into that. And it feeds the feeds the pipe machine. And it also goes through the switch. So I got off, on, forward, I went forward, put on forward, and just press the switch. And release it. To run the machine, and then I have to manually go forward and reverse here, but... So we're gonna cut this pipe right there. Well, you could use a... You could do it by hand if you want, but it's easier with the machine. I 
and we'll thread it. couple of threads past. Turn this around, put it in reverse, and back it right off. thread there. The reason why I like this machine is that it's faster than the um, the rigid and it's lighter. It just unbolts right here. This comes apart. You can find them used sometimes on uh, eBay. I think I got four of them. So I got enough for my lifetime. And this, this thing just comes apart and folds up and it's lighter to move than the rigid. That's why I like it. That's a lot faster. Do up to two inch. That one doesn't need to be reamed. Alright, we're gonna flip this around and put this back to forward. I usually push on this like this to get it started. Threads pass, like I said. Reverse it, take it right out. I like to use the rigid dies, is what I like to use. This goes from I go from 1 8 to 2 inch on the drop-ins. That's what I like to use, the big head. Rigid, rigid's got the best dies. So that's it, that's our riser. Now we're gonna put that in, plumb it up, and uh, get our offset, see what we're gonna need. Alright, then we'll get our offset piece. It looks like I'll just need a couple of... an elbow and a, probably a short nipple or something. Or maybe a 45 or something. We'll see what we got for a piece. Alright, so I gotta use a street elbow and a regular elbow because I don't have a lot of space down there, but I'll be alright. Good enough for this neighborhood. That's gonna be my cut right there on the off coming off the main.
be it. It's my offset piece. Alright guys, so I come over here with the off the tee. I put a, uh, a street elbow and a regular elbow. I gotta put a hanger on this thing yet, but it's come down to the gas clock, the union, and right into the unit. I gotta change this control um, to one that's gonna lower the cutoff. And I gotta do this this wiring. Then when I'm done, I'll be able to just use the same, use that same control and just um, be able to hook this wiring up instead. Instead of going down, up down through that control, I'll be able to change that a little bit. We're gonna, we gotta take this control out of here. Try to get the light so you can see better. This one here. This one here needs a um, burner, B1, B2 would be the white, and the red's a constant power, which um, this one don't have. This one don't have a constant power, just got B1, B2, and a ground. So I gotta bring L1 down to this for pre-purge and post-purge, but it shouldn't be a problem. I'm trying to get it set up. L1, L2 is off because I got the power off, right? This is L1, L2. Now this one has a circulator control, so the circulator is already wired differently. This is power coming in L1, L2. This is B1, B2. the red and the white. I don't know why they got all these other ones in there. Five wire on the flipping thermostat. Talk about a hack. This one's got a low water cutoff on it, so it's a better, it's a better unit. Code now in my state that have a low water cut off on this stuff, so this is a better control. So this is just coming in TT. Yeah, I don't know why they got such a just need red and white on this thing. I don't know why they got all this other all these other wires here. Not needed. We got plenty of slack if we need extra, so I'll just cut them. Not needed. Just red and white is all we need. 
It's just coming over from that control. I don't know why they got so many flipping wires. It doesn't make any sense. in here. The dog's trying to get me. Luna. Huh? Really? Oh, just TT hooked up. It's floating with the wind there. She growls at you in the morning? Yeah, especially when I'm, she's trying to wake me up. Yeah, this is gonna be too short. I gotta go a little longer. Go a little longer, the unit. All right, guys. So I got L1, L2 coming in, and then I got that red line going over to L1, which is feeding constant power down here to this. I just put some tape on the black one, and I got a black and a black and a white coming in here feeding this control I just put a brand new wire down I took that other box out of there so this is all hooked up this TT wire is gonna go to a rollout switch on that damper which I'm not installing now because I'm still running the oil boiler that'll be later but I should be able to fire this thing up it should run it did come over come out of another house that was the same size house and it was all set up so get it together and see what happens like I said we're gonna run that oil burner towards all all that oils burnt out but I had some time today so I wanted to come over and fit this thing all up get it ready to go get the gas back on we'll see how it runs You miss me? Oh, I know you missed me. I know you did. Yeah, you love daddy. Yeah, well, I know you love daddy. Yeah, you love daddy. Oh, yeah, I know it. Good, I had the gas shut off, so I just want to make sure that we're getting a good flow here. Hey, go easy. Things should fire up. Still we have ignition. I'm 
Now, the TT, which is this, should go to this damper control, this rollout switch. You can see this is a damper. It's, it flows both ways. That's seven inch. The one that's on here is six inch, and that one don't flow either. That one doesn't go either way. It's for the oil burner, so I have to get another one and uh, screw this on here and run the TT to here over to the TT. So if this thing rolls out and heats up, it shuts the burner off. But I gotta get another one. I don't have that with me. But it's working. So what I could do is um, I can take this burner out, put the oil burner back in for now, put a plug in the bottom of that, that gas shut off, and put a plug in here, and uh, take this out, cap off the red wire, and um, we'll run this for now till all the oil's burnt out, and then once, I, once they call me, they're out of oil, I just come and I just put this in, Hook up the uh, hook this back up the red wire to it and I'll be good to go. <sighs> oh, we got the low water cut off. Now we'll take this out. We'll put the oil burner back for now. See, I got a whole bunch of gaskets here if I need them. Put a little gasket in there. I thought you didn't bark. You never bark. I know you don't. You never do. If you want to get a petter, that's why. Put a new gasket, we'll get that thing back together. Quiet! Quiet! And put a three quarter plug on that thing. So no one, no one opens the gas and fills the house with gas for now. Hey guys, so I got the, the power wire just curled up in there with a wire tie and I'll hook up the the burner, the power, and the neutral off the high limit for now. And uh, this is being used as the ground now, this BX, so I didn't really need a ground cable. So hook this up and we should be a fire up the oil burner. And I got I do have a plug. I gotta put the plug in on the gas. I do have a I have a plug and a part of, part of a union here that I'll put in there for now. So, and then one, once uh, all I got to do is get the damper, the barometric damper, the six inch one instead of the seven. And uh, when they run out of oil, I can uh, just come and switch this, put this back in, hook up this power, constant power for pre purge, post purge, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, so this smart valve, what do we got here? We got a uh, High limit's at 180. The low limit's at 140. We're gonna shut that right off because this is working. This is working as a cold stop boiler. And then we got the differential here, which is at 10. And we like to put the differential at 15. And the low, the low differential is off. Put a plug in here and we got this thing back together. Alright, so we got the gas pipe ran, we got the burner right here. <laughs> One zone is calling, so it must be the hot water. Make sure that fires up before we go. This is at my kid's house, so that's why I'm kind of doing this prep work. She's going to be calling me. She could, she ran out of oil, and I gave her this burner. I got her off another job. 
So this is kind of a freebie for me. I'm gonna have to do something about this storage tank, get another storage tank. I'll put a nice uh, stainless steel one in here. I'll get rid of this thing. This thing's a this thing's a junker. Dielectric. Look at that thing. I mean, what a fucking mess. Once we fire this thing up for for good, I'll put my combustion analysis on it. But for now, it's good enough for this good enough for this neighborhood. Okay, so once she runs out of oil, like I said, there's quite a bit of oil left in them tanks. I want to burn all that oil off, and then we'll, as soon as she calls me, I can come over here and just hook it up. I did put a new gasket on it, too. And um, the one power, the main constant power line is just inside there, wrapped up for now, because you don't need it with this. This don't have a pre-purge or post-purge. That's it. This is going to be a call for heat right here. The high limit is going to be calling. Pre-ignition. Three seconds. Delayed oil valve. Fifteen seconds with delayed oil valve. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Houston, we have ignition.